Recently, in a fighting game Discord chat, we had a conversation about tournament nerves and overcoming them. I feel it's an interesting subject, because it isn't really talked about in any sort of depth enough, as far as I've seen. Truly, the short answer is, play more. But I wanted to break it down a little bit more for new and experienced players alike. Personally, I feel Reinhardt said it best. Nerves are there to show you, to teach you that what's happening is real. This is all going down right now in real time, and you need to, you need to embrace that. And he's correct. With nerves, you need to be able to embrace them instead of erase them. So what is it about nerves that affects all, yes all, players of all calibers? I believe it's because of that heightened sense of quote unquote, what you're doing is real, that messes up a player in varying degrees. A player will have that millisecond moment, that question of, what if? And even if it is for a fragment of a second, a player hesitates from pressing that button, or reacting to that overhead. But you know what else is only a fraction of a second? Frames, the deeply researched and embedded fighting game staple. Missing action by a frame can be the difference between hitting a fat combo or getting DP'd. And I think there's two major ways to help solve for this. First, naturalize your play. It isn't only good enough to only play more. You need to try difficult, new, or even random stuff while you're playing casual or friendly matches, online matches, anything where a tournament or money is not on the line. See what happens. Understand what makes you stop using a certain tool. Is it a combo you need to practice more? Or did your sick new setup only work once and then your opponent figure out a solution? The more you can get used to seeing situations, the less surprised you'll be, and the less you'll have to reconsider your actions during a tournament match or otherwise important match. This leads me into my second point. Be a highway. Metaphorically. What's great about highways is that there's usually more than one option you can take, unless you live in California. You can switch lanes, get off at a different exit and take a different road, or even swerve idiotically between other cars. All those options are available to you. If you see a long line of cars up ahead, you may be able to exit the highway and take an alternate route. Do the same with fighting games. If you see yourself not landing a combo during a tournament or otherwise big match, use an alternate route, even if it's not optimal. Have a variety of mix-ups if one is getting beat consistently. Basically, have a plan B. Have a variety of mental roads that you can take at any given time if something is not working out for you. It will always get you to your destination quicker if you know all the paths and roads you can take. The better you know your options, and the more you make those options natural to you, the less frames you'll waste overthinking during a critical match. That said, if you have any questions having to do with tournament nerves or anything else FGC-wise, I'm always open for questions on Twitter at Ryudo, R-Y-Y-U-D-O. And remember, the most important step is to always have fun no matter what comes your way. Thank you for watching.